and I'm going to be late, so I have to leave now. But we're going to Para Soho. I think it's a Turkish restaurant. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I filmed for YouTube. It's been a while since I posted on YouTube. There's just been a lot going on in my personal life that I've had to deal with on my own. And I'm gonna give you a little update now, but I'm not gonna get into too much detail because I still respect this person and I don't want to disclose anything that doesn't need to be disclosed. Basically, a month and a half ago, my ex-boyfriend and I broke up because of things that I found out, things with our relationship that were never really resolved, and our long-term relationship came to an end. It was just better that way for both of us, especially for me, given the things that I found out, given the damage that was done. I just couldn't get to a point where I could forget about those things and be in a happy relationship. So I am now single and I am still living in New York City, still working at my consulting firm, still trying to figure out what I want to do in my life. But it's been a little while and I've been able to go through the process of healing and recovering and being myself again. As painful as this experience was for me, it helped me discover a lot of great things in my life. Like I have great family and great friends that are so supportive and care about me so much that they're going to be there for me no matter what. I also realized that I wasn't really able to love New York and enjoy New York because I was always longing for something in Tokyo, which was my ex. And now that I don't have that, I feel like I can fully enjoy my life in New York, which I have been in the past few weeks, a lot more than I did before then. So there's a lot of good that came out of this negative situation and I'm really grateful for that. So my life will go on <laughs> and now that I've shared a little bit of an update with you guys on what's been going on in my life, Let's go explore New York City. I'm gonna go see my friend Diane and then we'll see where the day takes me. Let's go! Diane and myself two bagels, BLT on everything and sesame bagel at this place. It's called Pick a Bagel. This is on 53rd Street. Yeah, just had some good reviews, so I went to check it out. But I'm gonna head to my friend's place now, and we're gonna have some lunch, two bagels, and then we'll see where the day takes us. But I think. I'm gonna end up helping her unpack some things because she just moved here from Japan. So, let's go to her house. We're at Diane's new place. We got the BLT. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is everything bacon. bacon. So this is yours. Yeah, this is mine. And this is very Yum, with bacon. I got the same thing inside. just got ready for dinner with my friends. It's actually one of my friends from college's birthday. So we're doing a birthday dinner for her and I'm going to be late, so I have to leave now. But we're going to Para Soho. I think it's a Turkish restaurant. Uh, and I'm really excited to try it out. It is 
finally Friday night. I just wrapped up my work and I got ready to go to a concert with my friends from university. Uh, there's a big group going, so I'm gonna head over to their apartment in Bushwick. It's actually a part of Brooklyn I've never experienced before. So I'm excited to go there and experience the nightlife and hang out with my friends. So we're going to a concert for Esta. It's actually an artist I've never heard of before but I'm really excited. I listened to some of his music and it's very chill. Just time to de-stress and enjoy the weekend. It's been a busy week, so I need a little bit of a break from work. I'm excited to go out with my friends. This is my outfit of today. Let's go. So the subway system is super confusing and I got on the wrong train even though it's the same train that should have taken me to Bushwick. It dropped me off at World Train Center so I'm gonna take a lift from here to Bushwick which is a little bit expensive but I have no other choice because I'm gonna be late so I'm gonna do that. Oh, I hate the subway in New York. I honestly don't get it. I have to use Google Maps every time and even then it messes me up. But I'm gonna Uber now or Lyft because Lyft is cheaper right now than Uber, so hopefully I'll still get there not too late and can enjoy the concert with them. I made it, and I made it earlier than my friends! <laughs> just came to Upper West Side to get brunch with some of my friends. We're gonna get lunch or brunch at this place called The Smith. We made a reservation, so hopefully we can be seated right away and get some brunch. I need some food in my system. I'm so hungover from last night. The concert was amazing, but I drank way too much tequila. So now I need to shove some food down my throat and not be hungover anymore. Let's get some brunch. I came back from hanging out with my friends a little while ago, but I am still hungover. So I think I'm gonna take tonight a little bit slower than usual Saturday nights and maybe do some takeout, watch a movie or something, and take it easy because I have a pretty packed day tomorrow again. So I'm gonna get my nails done now because I broke one of them. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get them done, maybe get a massage, and order some takeout. <laughs> Hi. I did. Just finished getting my nails done and they look so cute. Ta -da. Not chrome, but it kind of looks like it's chrome. So happy. Then and I just came to Central Park after work to eat some sushi. We got some sushi from Sugar Fish, which I've been meaning to try for a while now. And it comes in this very adorable box. Super cute. And how much was yours? This is thirty-three dollars. Thirty-three. So it's a bit pricey, oh, no. but <laughs> very decent for thirty bucks. Yeah. 
we'll see how the quality is. But mine is 43 bucks. It's the, what's it called? Oh, it's Trust Me. And this is the Trust Me Light. Light. So she has like two sushis less than me. Doggy. Hello, doggy. Itadakimasu. 